Hello and welcome. I'm uh, doing an off-schedule video today. I wasn't uh, planning to have another one out until uh, the next model off round, maybe tomorrow, but uh, we just did the uh, the fourth, no, fifth uh, Road to Las Vegas battle, which was a super fun case. <laughs> and, uh, there was a lot of discussion in the commentary and in the chat about the question of, you know, uh, could could the fifth and final level of this be done in a single cell formula? Apparently, I've got something of a brand to protect, so I wasn't planning on doing this, but uh, but just for fun, here it is. Um, I'm going to show you how I actually did levels one to four and, and the bonuses associated with those, and then I'm going to attempt a single cell uh, solution to level five. So let me just quickly show you first. Um, people ask me how how did I do it so fast for this one, because um, I, I did get this one done faster than usual. A um, couple of things, most of which I'll show you, but one thing was before the timer started, we got to see this uh, this video explaining what the case was going to be like. Um, and that includes, uh, let's turn off the sound, that includes a sort of preview of uh, what the first few levels look like. So, you know, from the, the case description and the layout, I had a pretty good idea the kind of data we were going to be getting, which is pretty much exactly what we got. So we've got a list of, uh, a list of characters with scores on various different attributes. Um, and, you know, some additional attributes that we're going to need to calculate and then questions about, you know, pulling out different attributes for different characters. So I had, you know, about three minutes between, um, between, you know, watching the video and when I had to start the case by. So not a ton of time to do anything with it, but I thought to myself, okay, you know, it's, it's going to be a table something like this. Um, and I'm going to want to do something like this, which is, you know, a 2D lookup uh, to match character and attribute. So wouldn't it save me some time if I turn this into a lambda? So I say, give me the function that will take a character and an attribute uh, and uh, return all this stuff. Um, and, you know, I assumed I would have, I would make it into a table, name that table T, so I'm using T here and T here and T here, uh, and that I would name the column with the character name, name. Uh, and so I wrote that lambda, I had it sitting in a, a little uh, notepad here before I started. So first thing I did uh, was take that in. So anyway, that's that's the setup, preamble, whatever. Uh, I'm not doing a speed run exactly, I haven't tried it enough times to do that, but it's going to be a speed-ish run, so I'm going to, I usually have my timer hiding down here behind my face, but I'm going to run it today. So here we go. So first thing is, let me uh, bleh, let me grab that lambda, put it in here, new, I'll call it get at, which is what I called it. Put it there. Oh, something wrong with it. Probably. What the heck? I don't know what the heck is wrong with that. Oh, maybe it's that I haven't named the table yet. Let me try doing that first. Did not go wrong when I did it, but anyway, and uh, that's called name now. Uh, and then let's try that again. Oh, sorry, and I got to name the table T, uh, so that these references exist. That's probably what it was complaining about. So then, we'll try get at, and there we go. That's working better. Uh, so then, here we're interested in strength. So we want get get at of this these characters and strength so that's all good uh, then same idea here get at of these characters and these attributes that's not working or what oh sorry because I haven't calculated the X man I'm doing things all out of order because I have in mind that I did some things before all right so we got calculated power wisdom and wit wisdom and wit uh, strength times agility experience times intelligence so strength times agility, experience, times intelligence, and wit is intelligence times agility. Okay, so then this should all be working, and it is. Okay, so then for levels three and four, you had to do some text splitting. Uh, luckily, the layout was pretty consistent. So basically, the idea is we're going we're gonna to text split. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of... Uh, th space and also uh, nd space and rd space and st space uh, and whatever comes at the end 
score for the attribute of. So if we get rid of all those things, then we should get just the relevant bits. So text split this by this. Uh, mm, oh, sorry, I seem to have an extra space in there. Okay. Um, oh, right. This is dropping my ST. Hmm. Is there even a one ST? I don't remember doing that. No. All right. So then get rid of that. Okay. So that, and then I can just say uh, true for the ignore empties, and it'll just give me these are the things that I need. So then uh, what do I want? I want let all be xlookup the attribute in the table headers. So t hash headers, uh, no, hash headers returning from t. So that's the column. And then I want if uh, this equals lowest, then small of call and this number, otherwise large of call and this number. Uh, did I get my smalls in a row? So lowest, 11th lowest. Hmm. This all worked for me the first time around, and now I'm trying a speed run and nothing is working. <laughs> what the heck? Um, okay, so. Eh. so we'll go back to debugging mode. Here's my column. So I sort that ascending. There it is, 11. Small that 11. Okay. Oh, I bet there's some stupid spacing issue or something. Yes, it's lowest space. Okay, fine. Uh, so let's just make this a little more robust. Let's say if left this 3 equals low, so that I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then I don't want call, I want out. Okay, now that's better. Um, so then I'll just take all this, copy it down, and then fill this in here. Okay, all right, then similar idea here. Hopefully I'll screw it up a little bit less this time. Uh, so I'm going to break up on verses, break it up on, I think it was always highest here, so just take all of that. Uh, if it wasn't always highest, then we'd soon see that come out in the wash, but then we say text split of this by these. Yep, so those are two, and that's the attribute, and again we can say true to just make it drop that last bit, and then we want get at of these two characters on this attribute, and then the answer is just going to be, uh, we want the one with the higher score, so we're going to xlook up and say uh, 10 million in here, returning from here, exact match or next smaller item. And that's all good. And I think these are just, yes, they're just big numbers rather than anything going wrong. So that's fine. We'll drop these in. Okay, 317, I remember that number. Okay, so that's the first four levels, and then the bonuses associated with those. Uh, highest wisdom in the level two answers is just max ifs uh, of this, where this is wisdom. I'll just grab it from the cell there. 1056, and largest and smallest answers for level three, so max of level 3 times min of level 3, and that looks familiar as well. All right, so now the main event, level 5. We have a seeded tournament. Uh, it looks like this, so seed 1 faces seed 32, seed 17 faces seed 16. Uh, so the winner of that is the answer for example 5, the winner of this is the answer for game 71. That goes on up to game 85 for the first round then 86 up to 93 for the second round, and so on through. First round is decided on strength, second round on intelligence, third round on wit, spirit, and wisdom. So first thing I'm going to do is just uh, get rid of battle of from here, uh, replace with nothing. Uh, and then the second thing, just because I remember this coming up, 
uh, it's not called spirit over here, it's called spirit brackets will to fight. So I'm just going to match that. And I guess I could just do a quick check that all these are indeed in T headers. So that's 4, 3, 11, 6, and 10. Okay, good. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is filter. I want to get the order of the seeds. Filter that where uh, left of, no, not left, left of that. Uh, four equals seed. And then we want uh, text after all that space times one. So this is the seed order. Uh, and then we can X look up uh, that in E level five seed returning from T name. And so this is the order in which they go in. Um, I'll maybe mash it all truly into one formula in the end, but for now, uh, let's just think about this. So we basically, the idea is we're gonna put the first two next to each other, then the next two next to each other and so on. So let's just do it longhand first. We'll do uh, wrap rows of this by two. So that puts uh, the first two Holmes and Van Helsing, the next two Robin Hood and Dorothy and so on down. Uh, then we want to get out of these and whichever attribute for the round we're in, so for now strength. Uh, and then same thing as before, we want to X look up, sorry, X look up whatever 10 to the 7 on here, returning from here, sorry, uh, exact match or next smaller item. And so these are the winners of round one, and then you can, you know, basically repeat that. Uh, but again, Got a brand to protect, so we're going to mash it all into one formula here. <laughs> By the way, I actually, uh, level one to four, I did here pretty much exactly as I did them live. Level five, I did in a much clumsier way. I did it kind of following the the structure here, and it was a total mess. But anyway, this even without uh, the reduce that I'm going to wrap it in, this would have been a smarter way, because you can basically just copy this and put it over here, mm, approximately. Uh, I've slightly misplaced it, but anyway, you get the idea. Uh, Oh, right, because that's not... Anyway, right. with some tweaks, you could copy it and put it over and so on. But that's not what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to try to make one big reduce. So how do we do this? Basically, we need to stack all of these pieces together. So hmm, first thing is, let's just put these together. Uh, boom. Uh, I don't even, probably don't need the minus one, or the times one, sorry, because once it goes into... Uh, no, sorry, I do. Never mind. So that times one... So this is my uh, starting thing, and then I what I want to do is reduce that five times, and then the question is, what is the function that maps a, that maps one round results to the next round results? And that is going to be lambda a v. So a is the thing that you start with, and then then what you iterate each round after that, and v is the round number, uh, which is my sequence five. Um, so in this case, because I want to output all the results rather than just the ultimate winner, the way I'm going to do it is kind of stack. So I'm going to start with here are the 32 in the order they come, and then I'll stack below that the 16 that win those rounds, the 8 that win those rounds, 4, 2, and 1. Um, so what's that going to look like? Let's just put in my closing brackets so I don't forget them, and then we'll say let, uh, first of all, the number of players is going to be, uh, start off with 32 players, so it's going to be that over two to the power of v minus one. So v again is the round number. Um, so first one, then two, then three, then four, then five. Um, then, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then what do I need? Sorry, uh, I need players. It's gonna be take from a minus num. Uh, in other words, take the last, uh, wait, what? Never mind. It is doing them. Okay. Uh, so take the last, you know, in other words, in, in a round with eight eight players left, take the last eight um, rows of that thing that I've stacked together, which will be the people who've made it to that round. Uh, then the pairs of that will be wrap rows of players, uh, players two. Uh, and then the attribute will be index on this list of attributes. Lock 
2 times v minus 1. So in other words, in round 1, we'll take the first one, and then each time we'll step up by 2, because there's empty uh, rows here. Uh, so then the uh, pair attributes can be get at of pairs and at. Mm, and then, hang on, just for the purposes of debugging, I'm just going to make this run one round right now. Uh, and then we can output uh, hstack pairs pair ats. And that, yep. Okay, it's spilling, that's fine. So here we're saying first round matchup is Sherlock Holmes versus Van Helsing. Uh, Sherlock Holmes scores 62 on strength, which is the first round attribute. Let's just check that. Yes, and Van Helsing scores 48. Yes. Uh, okay, so that's good. Then we need to figure out the winner. Um, so actually, I'm going to... This is an interesting one because basically what we want to operate on is we want to operate on this block of names and this block of numbers. Um, so, you know, if it was a single column and a single column, then we could use map to operate on them both. Or if it was just one thing where we needed to operate across the rows, we'd use by row on them both. There's nothing that naturally operates on, you know, a row from one block and the first row from another block. Uh, a few different ways you could do it. Um, I think I'm just going to do a by row on the stacked thing. It's probably not the most elegant, but it'll work. So by row on this. So my input is the names and then the numbers. Uh, so for each... Uh, row, what do I want to do? I want to x look up, uh, not xm, x look up um, 10 to the 7 in take uh, row, I want to take the last two columns and then return from take row first two columns and exact match or next smaller item. Um, so that is the winners. So Sherlock Holmes wins, Robin Hood wins, Captain Hook wins, and so on. Uh, and then finally, so that's the winners. And then my output is going to be uh, vstack um, a and the winners. So in other words, the previous list of, uh, of round winners. So now I should have, let me just shrink this up. I didn't need quite as much space as I expected. So I should have 32 uh, columns, 32 rows here, which are the inputs, and then another 16, which are the winners of those rounds. And then if I make this change from sequence 1 to sequence 5, we should run all the way to the end, and then get rid of that. And then I just want to drop the first 32, because the first 32 are just the input. And that should give me all my answers. So I'm just going to put that here. Obviously, it doesn't account for the fact that uh, there's a, you know, a one-line gap between example 5 and the rest, so Sherlock Holmes just sits by himself. You could insert an extra line there, but I don't think there's any need to. And that matches the 491, which is good. Uh, and then finally, for the bonus question, we can take all of this up here uh, and change two things. One, we can just get rid of the V stack uh, and just output the winners. Um, and then we won't need the drop because that'll just reduce down to one winner. And then lastly, wherever it is here, level five seed can just change to bonus three, bonus Q3 seeding. And that's Peter Pan. All right, so that didn't actually end up being significantly faster <laughs> than my original run through because, you know, sometimes writing a crazy uh, single cell formula is not faster than just, you know, bashing through it. Uh, but that at least should somewhat answer the question of how did you do it so fast? Um, that's all I got for today. I'll be back to a regular model off schedule probably tomorrow or maybe Monday. Thanks for watching.